active connections is a force for good in Gloucester. As a not-for-profit social enterprise, it works mainly through sport to improve people's lives. Sport can really help young people and communities change their lives um, through health reasons, for education. It just has to be delivered in a way that the community want and the community find engaging and actually meets their needs. This is a close community anyway, but there wasn't anything for them to do as a community. Every location, there's a need, but at the end of the day, it's to bring the community together. Kids are like something to do, you know, and like structure in life, if you like. Instead of going on the streets, being bored, having them to do. All weathers, rain, snow, sunny, cold, icy, it's always a good crowd. Every Monday night down at Abbey Mead, Gavin organises a football session. We've got members, I think, from like going back seven years ago when we first started. And we've got a, a, a real mix of young people. We've got girls, some disabled young people. We've got older volunteers what join in. Some of the volunteers, they're also dads of the younger ones. When Active Connections got involved, it was really helpful. It definitely made it more professional. We get all the kit there, and we get all the bibs, the footballs. And we've actually got more people joining since Active Connections got involved. If there's nothing up and running, there's no point duplicating it. And if there was someone like Gavin, who was already out there doing it anyway, it just makes sense that we work at something that's already there as part of the community rather than trying to set something that was completely new. Three, two, one, go! But Active Connections also starts new ventures. They bought 10 Zorb balls, providing free sessions and also hiring them out for stag nights and other events. I've only been doing it for about maybe four or five weeks, but well, absolutely brilliant. You do this for an hour and it would be the equivalent of running around a football pitch for say three hours. The fitness level from this is much more intense. As well as sport, Active Connections helps people in their own lives. So if someone came in and they were like, I'm thinking of setting up my own business, is there any way you can help? Um, Mike will help them do that. A football team that wanted to be set up, but they didn't know how the right process to go about it. So Mike's helping them set a, their own football team up. Another scheme is known as Active Dads. Active Dads is a comment really funded project. There is a lot of support out there for families, but sometimes it's very heavily focused on the mum. So there was a lot of need there sometimes to get help dads to come along from dads of all backgrounds. Everybody comes together and then we try and find dads if they need some extra help we can signpost them to the support services that they need. We do get funding from within the city but the majority of our funding has come from external national funders. So again if we weren't doing it then we're looking at three, four hundred thousand pounds in the last three years that would not be coming into the city. There's lots of green space, there's lots of parks, there's lots of young people wanting to take part in things and there's lots of young people wanting to volunteer. It just requires somebody to go out there and find them. Mm -hmm.